A mountain cable company gives homeless veterans tools they can use to start a new life. News 13 Cheryl Barber has more about how the gift of communication can reopen ties with their communities. Veterans say it's amazing what a laptop can do, from looking for a job to staying in touch with their families. I had to come back here to get my life back on track. Vincent Davis tackles a job application online with a new laptop at ABCCM's Veterans Restoration Quarters in Asheville. They gave me a chance to get back on my feet. Back on his feet and possibly back in the money with a new job. I went on the online and on my usjob.com and, and I heard about it from a friend of mine up to the VA and she me to it, so I'm trying to put an application out. Vincent is using one of six new laptops Charter Communications has given the Veterans Restoration Quarters. Today they presented a $6,500 check to ABCCM, giving vets a new link with the world. At Charter, we're always looking for opportunities where we can um, gain uh, new employees at the same time where we can help the community. In this case, we're able to do both. Mark Spillman says the laptops can also be used to train vets for digital jobs, but they also provide an even more powerful link for veterans reaching out to their families. This is the first step. It all starts with breaking out of the isolation, reconnecting. Our world is connected now through computers, internet, phones, and this starts that communication and training process. It's a great thing you have, and the speed is awesome, right? You know, just one click, and you're right there on the right page. Carl Doherty says these computers will allow him more contact with his relatives back home. It's like if you don't have a cell phone, you can get on Facebook and talk to your family. Stay connected with your family. Let your family know that you're safe up here and you're doing okay, so they won't really worry about you. ABCCM staff members say that these computers will help veterans stay connected with treatment programs and employers for years. Reporting in Buncombe County, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.